And I'm Bobby. And this is week three of Hips and Slips. Mainly slips tonight. We went over a bunch of things. First off, we started uh, giving you guys just a whole bunch of the basic slides and showing you how to do them. So we did, went through a whole inventory. We did a V slide, which looks like this. And you can do it open close. We did some slip swaps. We did some uh, replace slides, which is kind of the op opposite of a slip slop in a way. Uh, we did some moving V slides, such as uh, heel slides, where we either go into the forward and slide, <laughs> or you can put four feet without V slide, or you can just slide flat footed, or you can slide. Slide Things that you practice in your house with wool socks and a kitchen floor. Um, then we did running slides where we uh, started off running backwards and then moved forward. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so the thing that we did then is we showed you guys a great way to practice them is to combine them. So you do V slide, cross, circle, slip slop, run run, circle, V slide, cross, turn, thingy with the thing, out here. All in a row, just like that. As an exercise. And the important thing is to keep control of your weight and your balance the whole time. Because as you're doing this with your partner, you don't want to rely on your partner to prevent you from falling off the We then did uh, some loopy circles with some runs or scoots in them. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. Seven and eight. Triple step at the end. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. We did them sideways. Sorry. We did them backwards. And we even experimented doing them leaning back like this. Whilst, and also at the same time, returning to our hip back position on the triple step. Uh, the leaders, uh, when, I, when I feel my follower from doing them, I can throw in just a regular run run slide. One, two, three, and four. Run, run, trip, set. And then we let you go hop crazy and just do a bunch of those. And five, and five, and step, 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 step, step. The idea being that as long as you keep your follower looking at you while you're doing all this crazy slide work, things should be fine. And you just go until the leader decides to change it to something else, triple step to finish, or step step, whatever the case may be. And uh, just to finish everything up, or I mean, we did this exercise halfway through the class, but I think it's a great finishing thing to leave you with, is that we then played around with you putting those basic slides wherever you can in the dance, hoping to not interrupt your partner too much. <laughs> and this was an exercise, so we did as many slides and slips as we could. In the social dance, be judicious about where and when you put in these slides. But with your partner, definitely practice putting in as many as you can, wherever you want. Just 